up beauties welcome back to my channel it's your girl yanni and today we're gonna be doing a full face of affordable makeup under ten dollars so um i went through my collection this is a lot of the stuff isn't new everything is pretty much um stuff that has been in my makeup collection stuff that i use on an everyday basis or stuff that i just really really love so if you guys are interested in seeing a full face of makeup under ten dollars because you can get a beautiful face for affordable prices then go ahead and grab a snack grab a bottle of water because you know we're still trying to get healthy up in this joint and keep on watching all right so it is a misconception that drugstore makeup is not good because it's cheaper or it's more affordable but it really is a wonderful or alternative if you don't have money to spend on makeup then this is great a lot of these products are amazing that's why i chose them um but if you have the money and you want to spend um your money on makeup i'm not going to tell you what to do but i'm going to tell you if you love makeup if you are into makeup and you just don't want to spend a bunch of money this is where we're going to go this is where we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the drugstore, to Walmart, to Target, Walgreens, CVS. Um, I'm trying to think anywhere else. Your local superstore that might have um, makeup. You know, some supermarkets carry makeup as well. But yeah, I mean, this. These are like my top picks. So let's start off. I'm actually gonna go off camera to do my brows because it takes like 20 minutes for me to do my brows. But I will show you the products that I'm using. So. Um, I always start out with a brow pencil. So this is my brow pencil. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim um, Brow Pencil. And I have on this side um, on my phone because I went and I went online to see all the products, the pricing so that I can give you guys the pricing. So the pricing that I have on everything is from Ulta. So this is originally $5.99. Actually, I got it on sale for $4.79. And they're always running sales and they have like their coin system and all stuff like that so you can get it even cheaper but $5.99 is not bad for a brow pencil and this is a really good brow pencil it um is very very thin it glides pretty well it's very pigmented and it has a spoolie on the end so you can brush up your brows so I like that secondly I use the brow glue when I want to do a fluffy brow or if even at the very end i just want to kind of pick up my brows a little bit my hairs this is amazing and that one is let's see this one is eight dollars and this is by nyx nyx cosmetics and you can get this wherever nyx products are um found or you can get it online then the next item is the i use the Wet n Wild Dark Brown um, Ultimate Brow Kit. I use this one and this is $4.99. Or if I don't use this one, I go with the e.l.f. one. This is newer. This one is like my OG. This one is newer. This one's I think $3 or $4. And I like this one just as well. Oh, my hair falling everywhere. Um, but yeah, this one is my OG. So we're going to use this one today. And then to clean up my brow, I use the e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. And this one is in the color Medium 32N. And this one is $5. And I use this to kind of clean up on the bottom and on the top. And then the last product that I use, that I don't know where it went, I think my beautiful daughter took it, is my Milani Weekend Brow Pen, and it's $8.99, and I get it in espresso, and I just kind of, I use the pen to make like little hairs in the front, so that's what I do. So I'm going to go off camera do that, and I'll be right back. All right, brows are on and we're back. Everything is nice and clean, put everything away. I love doing my brows like this. If you guys want um, a brow tutorial, I already did one that's up on my channel. I will link it up here or down there, wherever. So from here, we're going to go, we're going to do a really easy look on the lids just because I'm going to be going to work. So I think we'll do our eyes first either way because I'm going to be using a deeper, darker color. So affordable eyeshadows at the drugstore i like the wet and wild um the color icon eyeshadow palette this one is in heart and soul 
which has some nice like warm tones and then this one I picked up just now this is the fantasy makers pick your poison I want to say it is yes pick your poison palette and it's just a 10 shade eyeshadow palette this came out for their Halloween edition which is very very fall vibes it's a really pigmented black in here which I really really love so I just wanted to kind of give you options these are the two that I have and then I have their color icon their five shadow ones these are $5.99 this one's $5.99 and I think because this one was Hall Halloween I think it was either it was either $5.99 or $6.99 either way under $10 and they're really good shadows we're gonna go in with this one today so I'm gonna use the wet n wild mega last incognito full coverage all day wear concealer as my eyeshadow base because I don't have a an affordable eyeshadow base so when I don't have an affordable one I kind of use a concealer and use that just to kind of get away from the darkness that's on there and we can have like a flat base on our lids I love this concealer a lot I'm running low but I'm trying to use all my products so that I can just buy my favorite products and just do tutorials for you guys with that I mean here and there I will try new products but I'm not gonna go splurging crazy these don't have names on them that's the only thing it's just the palette has a name so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this we're gonna set it with this really light color we're just gonna use that we're just gonna set that concealer so it doesn't crease These do have a little bit of fallout, but that doesn't bother me because I always do my eyes first. Like 90% of the time, I'm doing my eyes first, so we're good. I'm just going to take this color right here, put that all over my lid, and then this color here in the middle. And I'll be right back. Okay, so this is where we have arrived. Not my favorite look. I don't know if it's just me. I'm just off, but you see a little spotlight in the middle, right? Right? So this is still a really good palette. It's just... It could be because I'm rushing so that I can get to work while I'm filming this because I didn't get to film it earlier like I wanted to because my husband wanted to talk with me and like spend some time with me. So it could just be, like I said, me. Or eyeliner. I'm not going to do a winged out liner because obviously I did a spotlight eye. But um, this one is the Essence Super Precise Eyeliner and this is $2.99 and is one of the best eyeliners ever. It has a brush tip and it's super duper 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 thin. A lot of people have, do you see that? A lot of people have compared it to the NYC liner from like way back in the day, like OG. So yeah, we're going to just go ahead and do one line. And it's just to conceal my lash band. And there we go. Very nice. Now for mascara. So for mascara, I'm using the ColourPop Act Natural Defining Mascara. And this one retails, I want to say, hold on, I have it here. Retails for $9. And I actually like this formula a little bit better than their BFF mascara. And I like this wand better. You see that? It's a better wand. So we're going to throw some of that on. I like it because it's lengthening and it separates. It just does everything. And I like that the formula is not too wet. It's just perfect. So we let that dry. I am going to go ahead and wipe out any fallout that I have. I'm going to get ready for complexion because I do my lashes at the very end. So for complexion. I'm going to go in with the NYX Bright Maker. Um primer which is um new this is six dollars this is the mini so that's why i put it under um ten dollars because you can get the mini ones so this is six at ulta so it comes out orange it's basically to brighten up my skin so i'm going to put this on first just because um, my skin has been looking a little bit dull i have a lot of breakouts because of work with the mask it's like ugh. I dislike wearing a mask. I can't wait till we can just move on from wearing a mask. Do you instantly see like how nice and bright my skin looks? 
I'm gonna let that sink in. I'm gonna go ahead and use another primer, which is the Putty Primer from e.l.f. This one is $9. It used to be, I wanna say it used to be seven or eight dollars, but it has gone up. It's very popular. I love the poreless one and I love the matte one. My son actually likes the new one that just came out, which is the um, acne fighting one. It helps a lot for his acne, so or for her acne, because she's now identifies with she as her pronouns. But yeah, now we're gonna do a little reverse contour because I need my face to look a little bit more sculpted. I'm gonna use the putty bronzer from e.l.f. This one is six dollars, and this is in the color tan lines. It looks like this. All right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna reverse contour. I'm gonna use this brush here. Get some of that product. I'm going to wear a wig today for work because I don't wanna do my hair. I'm trying to give my hair a little bit of a break. And then we're going to go ahead and cover these little blemishes that I have going on here. I'm going to use another drugstore product, but I don't remember how much this one is. This is the Pixie Concealer. This is all from the Scar Starn Mask. And I wash my mask and I clean it. So we're just going to let that sit there for a moment so it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm sure that one is under... Ten dollars as well. Let's see, and then for blush, because I like to put my blush under, we're gonna use the Cheek Do Serum Blush from ColourPop, and that one is seven dollars. And this is in the color Tumble for you. I like to shake these because I don't use them all that often, so. This one is brand new. I haven't even used this one yet. Yay. I'm going to put this on the back of my hand. It looks like that. It's very light. It's a nice like pinky mauve. It's one of my favorite colors. And then I'm going to take this putty blush brush that I have just to apply it. I'm taking it. And look at that. That's so pretty. And it's very thin but buildable and that's what I like. nice very nice just gives you like that little flush and I just kind of like that vibe let that dry a little bit all right now we're gonna take the other end because this is a dual end brush so you can contour and then blend so we're just gonna blend some of this because we're gonna go over it with foundation anyway now for foundation. So for foundation, I've been using a lot the e.l.f. Acne Foundation, but I'm going to give that one a rest today because I don't have a lot left and I haven't seen any come in stock um, at Target. So I have to go online and buy it on e.l.f., but I'm trying to keep myself off of the website. This is the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation, and this one is $6.99, I want to say. One second, I have it here. Yeah, $6.99. And I'm in the color Neutral Buff. I'm going to put that on the back of my hand. Oops, I sprayed a little bit too much, but that's okay. And then this, I'm going to use a Morphe sponge. And these Morphe sponges range between, I want to say, $7 and $10. So this one is a Jeffree Star one, but you can get a reasonably priced um, sponge from Morphe. So I'm going to go ahead... And blend some of this out. And now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my foundation. Just kind of so it doesn't look too spotty. See how it still looks like my skin, but better. Nice and evened out. I'm hydrated. Not so dull. Could be the primer too. That brightening primer from NYX is really good. 
Now we're gonna go in with that incognito full coverage um, concealer and I'm in the color medium neutral and this one costs $4.99 so like I said everything under $10 we love that and a little goes a long way so I only dip my wand once I never go back in that should be enough so I'm gonna flip over to the other side and do this Now I'm going to take this pointy side and I'm going to go right in here. I'm going to lift my eye, that concealer. very nice so now we're gonna set our face so I have two products that I'm gonna be using to set my face to set my under eyes I'm gonna be using the airspun loose face powder this one is five dollars and it's in translucent and has extra coverage because Lord knows I need it I haven't used this in quite a bit I had it in the back of my drawers but this is such a good powder and it just reminds me of my great-grandmother she used to use this powder so much and I love her and I miss her so much but it is a great powder. So I'm going to take that flat edge. I'm going to go right in with my damp sponge. Take it on the back of my hand to get the excess off. And then I'm going to set under my eyes. So I'm going to make sure there's no creases. Even though Mama does have lines. And just lightly. And then go ahead and set. Perfect excess off and then you're gonna set and then anywhere that I put the concealer that I know I'm gonna get sweaty I am gonna put some powder definitely between my brows and my forehead all right now to set our face I am going to use first I'm gonna wipe off the under eye I'm gonna use this, the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Mattifying Powder. I love this powder for all over the face, not under the eyes. But let's go ahead and a wipe under, let's wipe under our eyes. And take any excess powder. Just wanna make sure so it doesn't sink into your lines if you have lines like me. Now, with our big fluffy brush, I just take this and I swirl it in here, or I pounce it, whatever way you wanna do it. And then I press the powder all over my face. This is in the color light medium. And this one is $8. And it is well worth it. This $8. I love this powder so very much. I recommend all of you use it. Especially if you have oily skin like me. All right, on to bronzer. So for bronzer, we're gonna use the City Bronzer from Maybelline. This is in medium 200 and this is $9.99. So right under $10. And I really like this bronzer. It's nice contouring color too. So tap the excess off and then you're gonna go up. I go up. And then we're gonna go this way and then just a little bit down just because I have sculpting trying to sculpt my round face out so up up oh and then lightly down so you create like a little shadow and then of course down here we want to get rid of all of this and then on the sides I'll create that shadow now for blush for blush we're gonna go in with the 
It's called The Blush by Essence. And this one is in Befitting. And this one is, hold on. This one is $2.99. And I love Essence blushes. I think they're super pretty. They're nice and pigmented. This is like I said, like a mauve color like I had with the serum. It matches perfectly. I'm going to take my Real Techniques stippling brush. Just go in there. Tap off. Just right there. Look at that. Just gives like that nice, pretty. Okay. Oh, I love it. And goes right with. Yes. A little bit on the nose, just to look like that. Hello, how are you? I love these blushes. What we're gonna do is, we are looking good with our face. We're gonna put our lashes on. So for lashes, affordable lashes that I absolutely love are from Dollar Tree. These are amazingly pretty. These are the Ioni 3D Faux Make Lashes. They're, um, I got three styles. I got the Wispy Dramatic. I mean, I have a ton of styles, but these are my three favorite. Wispy Dramatic, Wispy Full Dramatic, which look like this. And these look like this, which I think we're going to use these today. And then these are the Wispy Cat Eye, like this. And they're super pretty. So I think we're going to go with this one. I love these. So for lash glue, I use the Kiss Strip, uh, Strip Lash Glue. And this is the Lash Adhesive Glue. This is $2.99, but you can also use the Duo Lash Glue. Um, I think it's the green one that's the brush tip and it is clear. That's the one that I usually use and that one's $5.99. But this is the one that I'm currently using. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and you guys know my little hack. We're gonna take this and put it on the lash line. Uh, not on the lash line, but above the lash line. And I only put it up here. I don't put any on my actual lashes. You can. Like I said, I don't. It's personal preference. They stay on for me. I don't have to worry about them like falling off or lifting or anything like that. I just put enough lash glue, um, especially in the front, you know, because that's where most of the lash lifts because of like watering and things like that. Your eyes watering. All right. So while that gets a little like tacky, I'm just gonna clean up my hand with the foundation and the serum blush and the powder. Your hands are your best tool, honestly. So got that. Let's clean up a little bit. Well, I really forgot how good that airspun powder is. Like it's lovely. We're gonna put our lashes on. I use my um, lash tool. You could use some tweezers. My lash tool, unfortunately, is not affordable. It is the Tarte lash tool, but you can find the um, affordable ones at Dollar Tree. My son, or my daughter, she actually uses one from Dollar Tree, and it, I'm sorry, it really works for her. It's gonna be really pretty. I'm just looking at my lashes. They're so pretty. There you go. Wow, lashes do really make a difference. Like I think these are so pretty. All right, we're in the home stretch of things, people. So now let's see what we have next. We have to just do our lower lashes, which is, we're just gonna go in to that burgundy color right there. Or actually, we'll go into the brown because I did use the brown on my eyes, and I think I like that a little bit better on my lower lashes than the um the burgundy cut of color i think that looks very pretty all right now we are going to go in with our setting spray because then i put highlight on and then i do my lower lashes so setting spray i'm using the milani fruit fetish make it last setting spray and this one is in the mango coconut scented and this was 4.99 at ulta but the regular milani make it last setting spray is um, $9.99 so still under $10 and this is amazing it does make your makeup last um, it has 16 hours so we're gonna spray that even though I'm gonna be at work at just four hours Whew. I'm gonna let that dry or at least get a little dry so 
that's nice and dry we're gonna go ahead and go in I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop super shock cheek and wisp which I love and this one it costs eight dollars on the ColourPop website they didn't have it at Ulta but you can definitely go on the ColourPop website and get it and they're affordable as well and they do carry ColourPop in store they just didn't have this particular product and you see that that's so pretty and I'm just really light. All I did was touch it a little bit. This is a pearlized highlight. So it's like, oh, look at that reflect. So pretty. So pretty. Perfect. And I'm going to take this on a little brush. And I'm just going to put that in the inner corners of my eyes just to keep it nice and bright in there. Definitely brought some brightness right in there. Now we're going to do our lips. We're going to go in with the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in True, oh, sorry, in Spice. And this color um, is like a nice color for every day, for fall. It's just a really nice overall round, around all around color. And this costs $4.99, so yay for that. Uh, and it glides so nice. It's a wooden pencil, but it glides like a retractable. So for the lip part, or the lipstick part, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Last Katsu Matte Lipstick. And these are $2.99, and this is in Mochalicious. Uh, which goes perfectly with my eyes there you go alrighty let me go throw my wig on and I will be right back change my clothes for work and we're gonna end this alright so I'm back and I have my wig on because I love long hair cut my hair because of health issues but nonetheless here we go and this is the final look I'm going to go ahead and throw some mascara on my lower lashes and we're gonna spritz one more time. Actually, let's spritz first so it doesn't transfer. Mm, I love the way that this spray smells. It smells lovely. I know I look like a sweaty pig, but I promise you, this spray works. And that's it, mascara, and we're ready to roll. Right. You can throw, I actually will throw a nude or a black eyeliner. I'm going to throw a nude eyeliner. This is the cream gel liners from ColourPop. I believe they're 7 or $8, so they're still under $10. I'm just going to throw that on my waterline. Just to open up the eye a little bit more. Perfect. Perfecto. And that's it. I am going to put my other little pinky <laughs> press on and my thumb one. They fell off this morning. So yeah, I believe that completes this video. If you guys enjoyed watching me do this makeup look using affordable makeup under $10, then please like this video. Of course, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell down below so you can get notified every time I upload videos. Which is three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you know, if life permits. And yes, I'm going to get myself going, put the rest of my jewelry on, and get out of here because I have to get to work. Thank you so much again for watching, and I will see all you beauties in my next video. Bye!